I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. In this video, I'm going to show you a little, uh, let me say, scratch and sniff technique for checking if amber is actually amber or if it's an imitation. One of my coworkers, Alex, found a pendant, looked like amber to her, and she brought it in and she said, you know, I bought this for just a few dollars. You know, what do you think? Is it real amber? How can we tell? So I just figured we'd show all of you. How do you know? What is your feeling? I think it's real. You do think it's real? But we'll find out. It looks so pretty. I mean, just the inclusions in it, that's why I thought it looked real to me. It like, looks real to me, too. Yeah. Um, usually when something's fake, if you pause and really look at it, you'll you'll go, mm, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but we'll find out in a minute. So, look at this gorgeous, which is a yard sale find, basically. Yard sale finds. Five dollars. So the question was, this is a beautiful pendant, you know, and well worth $5 for sure. But then the question was, this looks like amber, is it amber, how do we know? And I'm like, well, you've never done the poke and sniff, so I'll teach you guys how to do the poke and sniff. So if this is amber, amber, you know, is sort of like fossilized, like uh, resin from a pine tree, right? So if we take something very small and hot and metal and poke it, it will smell like pine. If this is any kind of like plastic or anything like that, it'll smell like Iggy plastic. Now, of course, you don't wanna take something like big and like stick it on and be like, oh, it was amber, but now it's got a big ugly mark on it. So normally what you would, you would try to like find a needle, a pin, you know, something with a very tiny little point. We'll heat that up and we'll literally just try to find the least obtrusive spot we possibly can. And we'll give a little poke and we're gonna smell it. We were looking at it and going like, okay, what do we predict? I think it's the real thing. It looks like the real thing, but we'll see. Oh, you know what I've done before? Good advice for those out there. Think about what you're doing before you light your torch. I don't always do that. I'm just gonna look for like, where's a really good spot. I think maybe like right in here, like right like there. You know what I mean? Like you have a little spot right there. You're like, you're never gonna see that. Because in other words, I don't wanna do it like right in the middle or something. Like even though the mark will be tiny, you want it just something that, you know, never see or notice. Okay. And that's the great thing about any kind of plastic or resin, it stinks. <laughs> so it's always clearly identifiable. I need to do a little bigger spot. We don't have any strings, which plastic will usually do. I'm gonna have to be a little more bold. I was trying to make like a tiny mark, you know what I mean? But it's fine. Set this up in the same exact spot. Right scent of pine. What I want to do is trade places um, and have you do the same thing because you literally have to be like right on. I think so. But we're gonna, I, like I said, I'm trying to burn the tiniest amount possible. So I'd rather do that once or twice. So I don't, I'm just trying not to be vicious. But I want us to trade places and I want you to smell. Because I did a very small amount and I think we need to be more aggressive. But I don't want to like, Skewer your thing. It's 
crumbly and not stringy, which I would think also would indicate actual. Okay, so we're gonna trade places. And this is your spot right in there. You see what I mean? So I want you to get right in there. It's always easier when you own things. It's easier to be vicious. Small pine is me. Nice. So you, usually, the great thing is that any kind of plastic or resin or whatever smells terrible. So it's usually you take the tiniest whiff and you're just like, as we all take a nice long snort. Um, so yes. it's usually very obvious if it's the because you're like, Ugh, you know, like if you ever burned any kind of plastic, that, yeah. that awful smell. Mm -hmm. So. I believe what we have is a $5 find. Yay! Alex. Nicely done. Thank you. But yeah, that's literally what you do. Oh, it does is smell you like just, a pine tree. Right? You see what I'm saying? It will smell like a pine tree, and I'm sorry that we can't uh, show that on film. Yes. But it's usually pretty clear if okay. you give it a good poke. Thank you. And we were also right. It is. It looks what it is what it looks like. <laughs> 